Welcome to Talking Tech, our new web series where we talk to Hillsborough teachers about their experience with virtual teaching and learning. I'm Todd McDonald, the Technology Integration Coordinator. And I'm Mary Ellen Wilson, the Tech Coach at Otten Road and Hillsborough Middle School. And today we are Talking Tech with Sarah and Melissa. Hi, ladies. Hi. Can, would you Hi. mind just introducing yourselves? Um, I'm Sarah Brian Ethel, and I teach fifth grade math and science at Otten Road Intermediate School. I'm Melissa Lavelle. I co-teach with Sarah for math for fifth grade, and I also teach a resource literacy class. All right, and so today we are going to talk tech about Flipgrid. So I just want to know what has been your biggest success so far with this virtual learning, specifically with Flipgrid? I think that it lends itself to be um, flexible, and we are doing flexible learning, and kids can access the Flipgrid whenever they are comfortable or if they have a quiet place in their house, and it allows them to not only interact with each other, but to curate what they want to share with both their teachers and uh, their classmates. I'm also finding that it's a great tool for us as teachers because we can do small group or individualized lessons with them using this whiteboard feature and the video feature. So Flipgrid is really awesome for us since we've moved to online learning. That's great. So Melissa, just share your screen and walk us through a couple of things real quick so we can see what you're doing. Using Flipgrid, my students will record a video answering a response or showing us how they're working on a math problem. So I just have an example Flipgrid here. Um, and if I were to record a response back to them, um, if a student was having a problem, I could use the whiteboard feature. So you can choose either whiteboard or if you wanted to use like a blackboard feature. And then if you record this back to your students, you can walk them through a problem. So last week we were talking about how to estimate decimals. So I was showing a student how you estimate like 23 and 8 tenths to 24. And then I was showing them how you, um, so if I had times 1 and 7 tenths, I would estimate that to about 2. So my answer would be 48. And then when they solved the problem, they were sh I was showing them how to place the decimal back into the answer. Um, so this was really helpful for students who were having a lot of difficulty with just maybe verbal directions and really needed to see it being done um, in front of them. So I found Flipgrid really helpful here. And I know a lot of students re responded back to me saying that they thought it was helpful to see it being done instead of just reading directions or hearing it verbally. And Sarah, how has Flipgrid been working with the way that you've been doing it? So what I've been doing in Flipgrid is I've been using the whiteboard feature mostly, and the kids have been using that in their responses to share out. But then I think Flipgrid updated most recently, and you can now upload an image for your video, and then that way you can write directly on it. So I've been using that for line plots with the kids. Um, so what I did is I recorded my own video right here, and it gave them kind of like a focus for what they were going to do. So yeah. what I was able to do, I was able to upload an image of an example of pencil lengths because that's something the kids were familiar with, and physically write on um, the image to show them when certain vocabulary words were important and how the data was situated for the Flipgrid. And then I was able to show them what most common was or mode, and then they were able to apply that to their own video. So I can see all of the students over here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and they were able to respond that way. It's so great that you guys are using the whiteboard feature in Flipgrid in order to demonstrate how to do some of the math problems, but also use the image upload feature to mark up the image so that the students are able to see a math problem and then you working through that math problem right on their screen through Flipgrid. Yeah, that's really good. So just another quick question for you guys, just very briefly, uh, what's next for you and your students? Or anything else you want to try with them with Flipgrid or something else? Well, so what we did today is we shared out a Google form, um, and it's allowing kids to sign up for uh, Google Meet with us for tomorrow. And, you know, we wanted to just not 
open it to the entire class of 25 to begin with and just start with the select few to get them a little bit more comfortable with one-on-one -on -one conversations. And even if it's just like a five minute check-in, we're gonna do a Google Meet tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For me, for Flipgrid, um, I also teach literacy. So I'm going to be trying having my kids do a recorded reading for me. They have to do a one minute timed reading at the end of each week. So my plan is to have them do an initial read on Mondays and then an another read at the end of the week, just to kind of check in with their fluency, which I think would be cool. Um, and then also we're in the middle of argument rating. So I would like to have them film like their side of an argument and then have um, a classmate respond with the other side or a rebuttal. So this is just some things that we're trying. That sounds great. Well, thank you yeah. both so much for sharing what you're doing. We love to hear about it. And uh, thanks for talking tech with us today. Thank you. Thank you.